is the third jewelry box. Ooh, you hear that? That's like jewelry box number four. The diamond ring company. And the box is in there. Oh my God. We found that he was arrested for the possession and distribution of drugs. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And we finally picked us up a storage unit. Not a storage unit anywhere. We actually picked one up in San Jose, California. Never been there before. The highest home market in the country. The average house costs $1,085,000. So our chances of finding good stuff here is really high. And I'm so excited to finally have a storage unit from San Jose. Let's get in the van and head out there and see what we got. So we're finally here, first unit in San Jose. It's only a five by five and we paid $400, which may sound like a lot for a five by five, but out here, they're usually going for six to almost a grand for a five by five. So 400, I was really happy and it looks packed. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's go make some money. See, 400 may seem like a lot, but for that amount of stuff, I think it's a pretty good deal. Don't forget, 15% buyer's premium, 9.75% sales tax. So total, we're in this unit about $497, which really isn't bad for San Jose. So let's go through it and start seeing if we can make some money. I see coats from here. Let's see if we got good brands. See, we got Forever 21. That's a good sign. It's not like high, high end, but on Poshmark, Forever 21 stuff will sell. Maybe not for much. Like I bet you we get $10 for Forever 21 jacket. First items, money. I like that. Let's go to the next one. These are just more clothes. You see the dust rolling off of everything. I love the dust. I saw the dust too. That's a Puma hoodie, but it's kind of used. This looks like North Face from here. It is. Oh yeah, it's like a little North Face fleece. North Face is also good money. After we wash it up, of course, dusty. It's been in there for a while. Again, I bet you that's 15, 20 bucks pretty easily. Let's get into this thing. What is this? Okay, we'll get that later. Let's see what's in this duffel bag. I like duffel bags. This tools? What's in here? It's like jewelry making stuff, isn't it? Hmm. Ooh, a little keychain. Key hmm. That looks like that's Harry Potter. Is that's it? Definitely cool. Well, this is like the Quidditch thing. Oh, cool. I think. All right, that's kind of interesting. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But I think it's Harry Potter. And this is a DVD player, which we'll always get like. Usually $5 if it's not a special one at the flea market. So not a big find there, but something. This is another DVD player. What is that? Uh, one. Okay, somebody really like their DVD players. They're like a DVD player collector. We got three DVD players. Oh, look, there's another one under the chair in the unit. Okay, no more DVD players. I think this guy really had a DVD player problem, not gonna lie. We have a lot of DVD players and it's just so strange, they're so outdated. So we're getting some of these clothes out the way and trying, what, what brand is that? Snowflake, Snowflake brand, perfect for California. We got a teddy bear. Uh, More clothes, what is that? Here. I thought that was gonna be like an award. It looked like some type of award. It's just a decorative thing. And like a little mini table. Um, that's kind of strange. This is also really heavy of a clock. Look at that benchmark quartz, and on the top says in recognition of five years of service. So, huh, that's definitely really heavy for a small clock. Maybe that has some value too. Is that a lunchbox? I see. Oh. Uh -oh, is that cheese and chong? Oh boy, I don't want to know what's in here. Oh, actually, a tool. I guess. I wouldn't touch that plastic ring. Either. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna touch that plastic ring either. Okay. What is this? <laughs> this looks like a tool, right? Uh, looks like it. And and it's not a Jeeves locker if we don't find one of those rubber coats. That's why I said don't touch that rubber ring. <laughs> We're just gonna put the Cheech and Chong box aside. So another sweater. Again, let's check the brand, see if there's anything special. This is a Eddie Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer. Not bad. It's decent again. Like I said, not big, big money, but every little thing adds up. That's how you make money here. What is in here, though? What is that? A filter care service kit? Whatever it is. It's in there, if that's what it is. Uh, is it? 
Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. All right. Let's put that over here. Some beads bobby or bobby pins. Bobby pins and beads. My favorites. What's that? Remington. I like Remington. Oh, it's a razor. Come on. You know what? Right now, during this uh, quarantine, look at the price these have been going for on eBay. Go look at it. Go to this old listing and look right now and see what razors are going for. It's an old AFM radio. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool. It might be worth a little something. What else is in this thing? A toy box. <gasps> kind of. With some this? grass and Right, it's like a toy, you know, I always let your kid play with the weed killer. Um, everything else in here doesn't look like toys, that doesn't. It? Not like old collectible toys or anything, more like just random little things. It's not going to be too particularly valuable, but random toys in there. Alright, let's get this table down or get this tablet in this. Uh... Alright, well, I, you know what, I'm not even going to gamble. <laughs> this is a certain variety of adult entertainment we're not going to talk about that's not a good sign what is this it's pwn but replace one letter not going to talk about it <laughs> not going to talk about it that like a little antenna antenna thing all right let's get this chair stool whatever it is out come here so a okay. stool five bucks five facebook bucks. marketplace maybe it's kind of crooked maybe 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 it'll all work right. for free <laughs> What is this? Careful. See, it's in this box. Paper. Coffee maker. Why is everything Because it's probably been in here for who knows how long. Yeah, it's so, like a Keurig machine. Yeah, they'll carry. They're not worth too much to use, unfortunately. Like, what? 10 to $20, depending on the brand. So, so in here we have random stuff. Another antenna. Hmm. Just a very, very random stuff. Okay, yeah, one of those foot pedicure things. I'm not going up further than this. So, if you couldn't see already. Oh. We also got an ironing board. Those are usually also $5 or so at the flea market because do people really still use irons anyway? Mm -hmm. We always sell them, but I don't know anyone that uses them personally. All right, let's see what the big Amazon Prime box is. Why is there like sawdust on everything? I don't know, like what's happening? Looks like clothes. There's some other stuff in there. Um, the world's in there. Come on. Let's see, I see a lighter. I see spoon. a spoon. I saw straws. Yeah, that's probably yeah. isn't the best bag to be going through or the best box. Mm. Keep your Jessica Simpson fancy stuff to yourself. What else do we see in here? Pans and. Yeah. Price tags. All right, so I'm gonna try to reach stuff up here so it doesn't come falling down on us. Whoa. Uh, That's kind of creepy looking. Hi, skeletons. It's a skeleton couple. Hmm. Kind of strange looking, not gonna lie. Never seen that before. Set that aside. What else is up here? This. Magic tracks. Magic tracks. It's still in there, it looks like. As seen on TV. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Let's see if I can get this table down yet. Check that drawer. I uh, hear something in it, I think. Oh, be bad stuff. Oh, another okay. straw. That's not good. Oh, and a key. Easy. This, oof. Like a metal rack. Corner Shower. Rack. Yeah. Shower rack. Alright. Okay, this is like the main reason we wanted this unit. Because I saw a guitar here. And last time we found a music unit, it was very nice to us. Alright, let's see what we got in here. I'm kind of scared after yeah, what we found before. Scared. Logitech speaker. Okay. What's in the flex? Oh boy. Oh, it's actual cars. Right. Little Volkswagen from one out of 30 or scale, 137. Doesn't say when they're made though, but they're plastic, so they're not too old. Mobile phone braids. Oh, okay. The charm for your phone. Oh. It's beads. All right, that's better. Oh gosh, I, I don't point the camera in there. All right. <laughs> Let me get this out. iPhone 7 Plus. Doesn't feel too heavy though, so I don't think it's gonna be in there. But empty box. It's completely empty box. Why is your box? <sighs> All right, hold on a second. I gotta remove some stuff from here. All right, let's go back to the box. 
tarot cards. Don't I dare open this blank DVD. Mm. Uh, proceed with caution. So oh, that'll work. Okay, that one's okay. Tarot cards are open. Oh. That's kind of cool looking. Let's see what's in this box that just came tumbling in. Is that another DVD it player? Is. Why does one person <laughs> need so many DVD players? Honestly. Like one or two per unit, I understand, but this is like eight. Somebody really enjoy their DVDs. Like really, really enjoy them. What is this? Speaker? Speaker? Cyrus? Serious. Serious? No, Cyrus. <laughs> Cyrus sounds funnier. Look in here first. Oh look, some like bungees and stuff like that. That way we can't fit all the stuff in the van. We'll have to put it on top, so not bad. Alright, let's see what I see food and VHS is two of my all-time favorites to find in the unit. In the red box. Something is. What what is that? I have no idea. That. So we got some VHSs. Patton, the brothers, the Titanic. It's mostly the old classic horror movies where the money's at with VHSs for the most part, but we'll check them all again. Hmm, what do you think's in here? I'm kind of scared. Another DVD player. D gosh, don't even say that. <laughs> okay, DVDs. There's no way there's more DVD players. Why? Oh, there's all the actual DVDs, look. DVD. One, two, three rows of them in here, actually, so. There's quite a few DVDs in here. We'll go through these. They're not all YouTube appropriate DVDs, but I wish I didn't just move that. There's DVDs. We'll look through them. Is this sweatshirts and stuff? Oh, there's some like team hoodies at least. A little what something. I don't know. I don't know what team it is. I know it's team, so at least sports hoodies are have a little bit of value. So we got a massive freaking pair here. A massive freaking person like me. If it collapses, I'm suing you, just so you know. It's not my fault. You're yeah, the one that's out on it. Comfiness, like a six out of ten, it's not that good. Alright, so we got more clothes, which could be good, could be bad, we don't know yet. And a pan. Our favorite. Let's see what's in this box here. Ooh, it's heavy. You are heavy. Whoa. Let's see what's in. No! Jeans are actually good, and they're Levi. So, like, they'll sell for $5 a pair, and there's a lot of them in here. So, that's not a bad box. It's just not a very entertaining but a look at box. Money wise, not bad. I'll set that aside then. The collapse of the treasure chest. Treasure chest. There's something in it. Ew, what is that? Okay, really something. Adhesive. Adhesive. Really? This is supposed to contain like the, the blooms and gems and all that stuff. Not freaking gorilla spray. Gosh, don't you know how movies work? Ooh. Look at this. Uh boogie board? What is it? A wakeboard, I think. A wakeboard? Yeah. I've and never used the, any of them. The ones that like when the when the wave comes up, you throw it and you try to ride it like on the um, shore. I just call them surfboard, short <laughs> surfboard, longer surf, surfboard, skinny surfboard. What is this frame here? Why is it all the way in the corner? My question. There's yeah. a lot of art or frames in here. Yeah. Right here. Oh, look at that. Hey. It's a nice mirror too. It's heavy. See, we got not the San Francisco Giants, apparently the San Jose Giants. Probably minor league team out here. Yeah. But I was hoping, and that makes it better than San Francisco Giants. You know how hard it is to find a San Francisco Giants fan? Like, is there any of them out there? It's really hard. But, let's see. Okay, what is the purpose of this? Oh, it's a dolly, isn't it? That comes down. I'll bet you. Okay, that makes it a little easier. I was about to say, what are you carrying on it? Is it just like a high-tech cane or something? I don't know, but yeah, it's a dolly. What's over here, though? Cafe something. Capri. Cafe Capri. There's, There's another one over here. There. Yeah. Cafe Milano. Cafe Milano. Huh, doesn't it just sound Italian? Doesn't it just make you want to go like this? Ma, ma, ma. Make some meatballs. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to do that. Maybe I'm just weird. Mm. Yeah, that. That? So we slid this box out. It's like really obnoxious, heavy. And I don't know what's in it. That's why, is it? What is this? Is that a microscope? What is this? Um, that looks old, but it's cool. Does it work? Oh yeah, it works too. Mm -hmm. hmm. Some kind of like, maybe this guy owned a tire ship? I don't know. 
Oh, God, I don't even want to look at your CDs right now. You're making me sick. A lamp, some CDs, another lamp, and a fan and iron. Like, decent flea market items, just not like <gasps> exciting items, but we'll take it. Now let's see what's in this big boy here. It's kind of heavy, too. I almost tripped myself. All right, so rugged exposure boot. I don't know about this. Let me look at it safely first. Another razor. You know what? I'll take them. They're money right now. They're money, 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 money. So we'll take it. Oh. Uh, hmm. Swiss gear. That's it's decent. Good. Yeah. It's in here though. If that's what I think it is. Is that a uh, laptop or another no. DVD player? DVD. Why does somebody need so many? Like, that's gotta be 10. That's so weird right now. What's in that box? What box is this? Crystal stone deck. Some type of cards. Rocks. Oh. All right. We got rocks. And what's this? Ooh, look, power shot SD100 or 1000. How old is that? It's still in there. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It might work. We'll try it out for sure. Not bad, not bad. Kind of an interesting box. What is this though? That's another speaker, isn't it? Yeah. All right, interesting box. I have a feeling I know what this is, even though I'm kind of hoping I'm wrong. It looks like a old cassette case, but. And they're not even cassettes. They're just the cases, literally empty cassette case. That is what we call trash. No way around that one. Let's see what's in this. If it's another DVD player, I'm suing. Like, honestly, suing, suing, suing. It is, get out. Get out. What is wrong with it? Okay. That, stay. What is this? Baby monitor? Is it? Or maybe a shower radio? Maybe, maybe. An alarm clock speaker thing. Ooh, look at this sucker here. That's a very big camera in there. We'll look at it in just a second. Hold on. I want to see what this is first. This has got me intrigued. What is that? Look, iFusion. I guess it's like something you hook your phone up to play music. Look, aux hookup. That's probably where the old like iPhone or iPod would go. What's in here? Oh, it's probably just... Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's still kind of cool nonetheless. But look at this thing. I feel like it's this big boy out. Ugh. Oh. Oh my gosh. I was just about to say that. Hold on. Get off, you dumb dog. Look at this. Oh, man. This is the news reporter stuff. I'm How do you feel? You. I'm recording you first. I think mine's better. Just a little bit. No, a lot bit. <laughs> Put that over here. Who remembers that show? If you remember the show, like it's one of those shows that I always saw. I never watched it as a kid, but I remember seeing them all the time. <laughs> Crayola? What is that? A Crayola camera? Hmm. All right, that's strange. That is strange. And what else do we got here? We have more cameras, I think. Look at this. Nice, another little digital camera. Hopefully they all work. They sell good for us at our live auction, so hoping they work. Is that another one? Sure is, isn't it? Another camera. This whole box, it's just cameras. Who remembers these? <laughs> you had to record back in the day. Even I remember that. I got you a present, your favorite thing. Oh, yay! They're even all taped together. Now look at that. We made a mess. How dare you choose fun? Gosh. <laughs> Just to be suit and tie, super serious, and boring all the time so that you can hate your entire life. Don't you know how this works? Ah! Everything's going down! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know what? You know we're gonna get that person in the comments now. You broke the cassettes! They're worth like, I mean, nothing, but you know. Um, I'll what? be careful opening it. It opens on both sides. Oh, great. So oh, close that side before you open it. Ice cube, baby. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen like rap cassettes. I feel like they're always weird country stuff. Rock and roll and 
other stuff. We've had zero luck with these things ever in the past. I don't ever have high hopes. Don't open for it. Okay. I got my hand there. All right. I'm ahead sure, of the game. Sure. Ahead of the game. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It looks like clothes. Yeah, this box is a closed box. Oh God! Why would you store literal crap? Ew! They store literal crap in the middle of their clothes. That's disgusting. Well, this box is pretty much junk. Now that you put that in there. Ugh. This box here. Ugh. What do you think we got? Service champs? Huh? Doubt that's what it is. Whatever that. Why is. do you put so many pieces of tape on it? It better not be like clothes or towels that you protect this heavily. And they're like surprise. It's towels, I think. <laughs> that was a good guess at me, huh? It's like I've done this before. It's like a bunch of towels. So they usually get just donated because we can't ever sell them and people always need towels, blankets, so. Donation stuff. Let's see what this is, I guess. I feel like this mm. is supporting that whole oh, tower. Yes. <laughs> Should I pull it anyway? Oh. Oh. I don't know. Gotta no. get the sombrero. I want the sombrero. Oh, that's cool. I might sell for a good amount. I don't know. Yeah, some of these are expensive. This one's definitely brand new. Look, paper's still in it. Obviously, the plastic's still on it. I would assume that the brand name would be inside the middle part, but that's something we'll have to check out once we get it home. But that could definitely be worth a good amount of cash. I feel like I want to do like a mariachi. What is that word? Mariachi. Mariachi. Let's see mariachi. Mariachi dance. This is another thing that's completely hit or miss. Like 85% of these are completely worthless, but some of these will sell on eBay for like $50 or more. Some of the DVD VHS combos can sell for almost $100. Uh, a little cross, just a memory away. What is that? Liquid bandage spray. You know, I distinctly remember this because when I got my first tattoo, I didn't know I couldn't get in the pool and we were on vacation. So I had to keep spraying that stuff over my tattoo to get in the pool. What is this? These are probably VHS tapes. Don't open it like that. They're VHSs. I don't want to need to look any further. I can see what they are. So I got the two boxes off. They almost crushed me, but they didn't quite. Ooh. This one looks like an apple, yes. You want a bite? No. Oh. This is like their bathroom stuff. It looks like. So from what I'm seeing, doesn't look very promising. What is it that? Oh, what is this? Uh, where's the opening? Nothing. Great. So let's just get this box out the way. Now let's see what's in the smaller of the two. This one looks like it's oh, like it hasn't been packed by some guy moving. It looks like it's professionally packed. It's shipped to a studio. All right, let's see. Oh no, it's definitely packed by some random person. Ooh, that's got some weight to it. What is this one? That's the iPhone 8 Plus. One of those people, huh? You gotta buy every single one right when it comes out. For what reason? I don't know. Nothing in there, unfortunately. Okay, bunch of these. A fan. Yeah. He's building it right now. Let's see what this is in a second. Look at this over here, though. Yeah, San Francisco Giants. All right, what's in here? CD case. Looks like music for the most part. Mm, nothing like good, but music CDs, I guess. Let's get big boy. Ew! Jeez, that was heavier than it looks. Ooh, really heavy here. Let's see what we got. Come on. I want jewelry boxes. What is that? It's not kitchen stuff. It's like a cuisine art thingy. Deep fryer. Deep fryer and toaster. And this is probably like something you hang in the kitchen. Faith. Yeah. That's their kitchen box. Again, flea market times, that's not bad. That's a good $25 in that box. But right now, me. So we have another wooden thing here that's completely full of VHSs on both sides. This side's a little stuck, but all VHSs. Then we have a second one up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those out the way because I don't want to look at VHS tapes right now. These are one of the scariest things for me to find in a storage unit because it usually means one of two things. It's empty or it's got stuff in it. When it has stuff in it, it's usually really smelly, disgusting, old rotten food. I hope that's not the case today, please. Hey, toys. So we got Ninja Turtle. 
Goofy. This Santa thing that like everybody anywhere that you ever met had in their house at one point. And some weird little collectible figures in here. Chris's ornament. Oh gosh, a Red Sox one? That deserves to get hit with a baseball bat. I was making fun of the Giants, the San Francisco Giants. Now I feel bad for that because nothing is as gross as the Red Sox. They're the absolute grossest, most disgusting disgrace to sports ever. Can you tell me, Yankees fan? But toys. All right, let's see what's in this box. We got Tim in a box. All right, Tim, what we got? Mm. All right, more of these guys. Like dancing married skeleton figures. It's like Day of the Dead or something. Yeah. At least I remember hearing about that. It's like a Hispanic holiday, right? I think so. so we got two of those. And we got these like, hmm. they look kind of the cool. Bases? They do look really nice actually. But yeah, there's two of those in there. And there's two of those statues and that's literally it for that box. But these are cool. I have a feeling these could hopefully be worth maybe a little something. So more flea market stuff, just kind of like wicker shelves and things like that. And then we got a metal kitchen shelf. Like a drain board, maybe. Yeah. I just saw that it said KitchenAid. I didn't really know that. Yeah, and then we got this ugh, queen size bedding set, which was 60 bucks when I bought it. So maybe you get a little something out of that, too. Like, if we had our flea market right now, it would be a pretty good looking unit right now. But right now, it's just hard to sell stuff. Ew, what is this? I don't know. All right, let's see what's in this box here. Ooh, this looks interesting. So we got, what is that? Durkin? Durin? Durant. Kevin Durant. Not Durant. I know. Period. Why do like this is the kind of stuff that just makes you wonder. Why do you store that? Why? This is a first time manufacturer, all American timekeeping clock. Um, more San Francisco giant stuff. Blech. A lot of this stuff is wrapped up in here, so hopefully that means it's interesting looking. Like this? Oh, what's that? Was this a jewelry box? Did I find the jewelry box? Oh, Ben. What do you think it is? Huh? I have no idea. I don't even want to guess because I don't want to get let down. I just want to be surprised. It's the random box. The battery box. I don't know if you like what it is. All batteries. Ah. Uh, let's see what else is in here, if anything interesting. This feels like some type of statue thingy. Yeah, that's all that is. Like a little statue. And well, that's it for that box. This box has been intriguing me for a while, so you see this? Dior? Dior? Let's see what's in there. <gasps> Do you see what I see? The diamond ring company? And the box is in there. All right, look at this. The Diamond Ring Company ring box with a $10,000 ring, right? <laughs> I hope you're right. Oh my God, it's empty. <laughs> That's okay. That's it, right, whatever. This is like TV stuff. You don't really usually find big diamond rings in there, but it's possible. It's possible. So I just got down this big CD book and well, it actually does look like CDs at least. Uh, and a bunch of them. A bunch, bunch of them. What is that? That's just in there. Okay. Ozzy Osbourne. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Nevada. That. I mean, there's a lot in here, actually. Probably sell this thing as a Metallica. As one big lot of CDs. And just let somebody go ham on it. It's probably going to end up being what we do. Where? What did you see? Oh. Eminem shell, but you know what? Um, and yeah, the Slim Shady LP, I think. But you know what I don't see on the CDs? Parental advisory. And listen to censored Eminem is like listening to somebody chalk, scratch a chalkboard. Just doesn't sound right. But there's a hey look, they even got the old HP CDs. There's a lot of music CDs. I'll we'll probably go through and get all the ones that are junk, like burn CDs and computer installation discs out of there, and just sell this huge thing. It's one big lot, and I bet you it'll do good. I got a really heavy box here. It says curly fries. I swear. It's Hopefully just... it's curly fries. No. No, oh, very random stuff. Let's see what kind of random stuff. So, a deer. 
in its baby. Nico. RC says it's an RC car. <laughs> Tea and lemon. That's like a gross smell. I hate the smell of both of them. No. Well, you know what's in here? Candles and weird stuff. So for the moment I laid eyes on this unit, pictures online, I was trying to figure out what the heck this thing is. Now I'm here, I got it out and I'm holding it and I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> what the heck this thing is. The good news, it's got a $60 price tag on it from Pier 1, but... There's two. What is it? It's it art. Big? I want to see the guitar in a second too. Has that one got a price tag on it? Yes, $60. $60. All right, so... It's a man or a woman. It's All right, fun. you ready, guys? This is a first age quality crafted guitar. Wasn't it beautiful? Yeah, well, I'm missing a couple strings. <laughs> that totally wasn't sound effects. That was me playing. Believe it now. I'm just that good. All right, don't quite don't go into cars. You didn't really play the sound effect. Don't do it. It's like the tallest one of these shelf things I've ever seen, honestly. Let's see what we got in the drawers. So this one, these walkie talkies. They look like walkie talkies to me. Mm -hmm. Over. Some walkie talkies are pretty expensive. But not much else besides walkie talkies. This. A random wire drawer. Yeah, I love that one. Another razor. And what is that? This is, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I used to have one of these like cheap players. Me too. I had a red one. Oh, I, oh, I haven't seen this in so long. I used to have one of them. More razors, guys. These razors are gonna be money, I'm telling you. What is that one? Ulf Dallin? Dallon? It's in one of those really protective cases. Hopefully it's worth something, but that doesn't mean nothing. There's another razor in there. That's good. Oh boy, paper towels. We'll take them. Get, 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 get. Ugh. Ugh. What's all this? That's just bathroom icky stuff. And that's just very random, completely random stuff. What is this? Oh, those old cable wires. I don't want to look at it. Guys, we'll be kind of packing as we go. And look at our van. It's getting really full. And, well, we still have quite a bit left inside the unit. This one you start to get a little nervous because all that's still in there. I think we're going to be able to pull it off. I think we're going to pull it off. What do you think? Put it down in the comments. I like to hear people's opinions. I like to see inexperienced people like guess on it because I think we're going to do it. All right, let's see what's in this little plastic container here. That's, Yay. did you hear that? I like those like excited cartoon moments. You know what I'm talking about, you know. Let's see, ooh, what's in here? Is that a jewelry box? Better be. Oh, I see rock. What's that on top? It just looks like a little coffin, man. Aww. Hmm. What is it though? Could be a jewelry box. Peppers. It's like the stuff you see in decoration and like pop and stuff. Alright, so this is. Summer rocks! Yeah, it's been a while since we've had these. People at every auction we have, somebody asks if we have rocks. This is $40 when they bought it. But I think the prices in these have gone up quite a bit. Like these two, these are expensive. This was $60 when they bought it. Uh-oh, we might have found our saving grace. <laughs> this one was $46 when they bought it. All right. This one, $33. Oh, yeah, I like this stuff. This stuff's good money. Let me put this somewhere. And I can't see the other ones. All right, let's see what this one is. Oh, look at that. This one doesn't have a price tag either, but really cool. Um, this one was $25 only, but still, 
That's probably a good amount of chuck money back right there. And that's probably the best thing we came across so far, in my opinion, interest wise at least. So I'm happy with that. Just got rid of a bunch of Christmas totes because you don't want to see them, I don't want to see them. So this is the first one we got to. It's not Christmas. <gasps> if you don't know who this is, <clears throat> You don't know life, I'm keeping this. It's the evil monkey. <laughs> I know the scene. That is the third jewelry box we found in this Let's unit. Let's see if it actually has jewelry in it. Ooh, there's something there. There's this. What is this? A string? No. This is a bolo tie. Oh. There's your bolo tie. <laughs> I found a Timex. I hate Timex. I always see the X at the EX at the end. I'm like, oh, and nope. Hey, that is 925. That's Yay. silver. Real we actually jewelry. got real jewelry, <laughs> even though it's just silver. I'll take it. I'll take it. And what about this? Yeah, that's not going to be silver. If it would, that'd be pretty heavy. But yeah, no, that's not silver. It's tarnishing. But hey, you know what? At least we got a piece of silver in there. What is this gold thing? That's a skeleton key, isn't it? Look. That's kind of cool. But I'm going to keep this out because that's the first real piece of jewelry we've found so far. Let's see what else is in this tote, though, because there might be another jewelry box. This kitchen. That's a toaster. Or like a sugar thing. Kitchen. Kitchen. I guess they decided to... Okay. Store an evil monkey in a jewelry box with their kitchen stuff. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, so we moved a lot of books out and more Christmas decorations that nobody wants to see. And got to a tote that looks interesting because I see this kind of paper. That paper's good. Ooh, look at this. Cool. Hey, Lynn. This looks like all types of collectible. That's a nice camera lens too. These are not cheap usually. Let's see what we got here. Toyota Buster Posey. All right, Here's John O'Hurley. Yeah, look at this. Let me fix that in a second. That's really cool. I really like the Native American type stuff. Doesn't have a price tag on it, but it looks nice. Jonas the Don Father, Don Skio. All right. This is the stuff that I always wonder about. Like. You know, ever wonder like what kind of sentimental value this had to somebody and why they kept it? it? Always makes you wonder. That's heavy. All right, looks like there's more stuff underneath. All right, so we got the top layer off safely without damaging that thing to get to the bottom here. It looks like we have Jerry Bailey, Saratoga. And this <laughs> looks like George W. Bush. His hat says W. It's the oil, stupid. It's the oil, stupid. Weapons of mass destruction. We got a couple of San Francisco Giants guys here. Dusty Baker and Johnny Cueto. And then we got a football player here. Can't tell the helmet. Mark Greb. It might be college or something. And look at this. Metal card. See if it's old. It's metal, but these are usually metal, even the newer ones. So I don't think it's old. And we got a San Francisco collector's truck. And then... This one, another bobblehead. Cool, it's the first time we came across a bobblehead collection. It's definitely pretty cool. And that might trump the other thing so far. This might be the best. I think it's the best tote we've opened so far. That tote was awesome. Let's see, ooh, this is heavy. Let's see if the tote under it is even more awesome. <laughs> we always say the back of the unit is where the best stuff is usually. Oh, look at that. That is like jewelry box. Ooh, you hear that? That is like jewelry box number four. Aww. It just has a screwdriver in it. Stop buying jewelry boxes and not putting jewelry. Oh, number five. That's got something in it. And it's pens. Pens. Some pens can be worth money though, so I'm not going to discount them yet. We got to look up the brands and stuff when we get home. Believe it or not, there's a pen. What is that? Ooh, that too. That's empty. That's definitely not. <sighs> open that side. Of this ah, what is that? A monkey. <laughs> a okay. Monkey it's broken box. Is that an orange one? Another one? Or did I open this already? 
Ooh, I don't know what they kept in there. Some California flowers. There's a lot down there, isn't there? That's not a box. What is this? This is a salt shaker. <laughs> Put all the boxes down through right here. Oh, wow, what's that? That's a plate. I didn't open that either, did I? No. That's empty. Come on. Oh, look, there's a lot of boxes down here. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm, that could be vintage too. <coughs> but let's get some of these boxes out. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Is that all of them? No. Get a sniff. I think that is about all of them. Don't forget, at the end, we'll, we'll do a recap and show you anything we missed. So, that feels empty, unfortunately. That's another one of those empty ones, yeah. Alright, that feels empty too. Empty. Oh, that's definitely not. Ah, oh, thumbtacks. Really? Don't drop that one. Yeah, you'll never find them on. You always, the only way you'll find them is on the bottom of your foot. Drop one. That's not what I'm in here. Okay. This one is... Ooh, phone. Two phones. Three phones. Three phones and a knife. Yeah. We'll add that to our phone pile. We always, like, the phones that aren't worth selling singularly, if you lot them up on eBay in lots of, like, say, 10 to 20, you'll find them over time. You'll get about 100 bucks for them. People buy them for parts, so... That'll add to our part, but that's a pretty cool looking, that's an old cigar box. You notice that? Yeah. Look, exclusively for some weird cigars. <laughs> Nicaragua. Nicaragua. <laughs> that's kind of cool. That was an interesting box too. Definitely the better stuff's in the back of this unit for sure. All right, let's pull this one out. These are, with all the like shavings in there, I gotta admit that's a little bit shady to have. Definitely some cutters, but whatever. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, oh no. Look. Oh That's snap. Well, all right. Yay. Before I do that, who else just sees this and gets instantly just furious from elementary school? I don't feel furious. I think I still know how to play hot cross buns. Okay, everyone knows how to play hot cross buns. And Mary had a little lamb. This, ooh, look at that big boy. Look at that. Hmm. That's super nice. Let's see if I can see a brand on the back of it. No, not from here. They're big heads. Look at them. Yeah. Men's watches, probably. Oh, yeah. Ew. <coughs> That's a polo. New U.S. polo. And that one looks like Skechers. Let's see what we got in this box, too. This looks interesting as well. That's where the diamond rings are. This is where... Um, very random, probably personal things are. Because it doesn't look like anything valuable. Might leave that behind. They take it. Um, that. What's this? That's nothing. What are all these? Okay, they're matches at the bottom. Are these freaking pipes? No, they're not pipes. I don't know, they're wine tops. It says wine. Hmm. All right, cool little collection. Um, that's empty now. It done fell all over the place. Ooh, what is this? Yachty Flash. You think that's what it is? Mm, yes. Yes, okay. Got uh, another one of these. Well, this one's attached to a thingy. Look. They're booking. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, let's see. Random, here's another watch, put the watches. This one's a uh, Kenneth Cole. Cool. Those are good. Uh, yeah, we'll set this over here. Put that with the other watches. Um, some other stuff, an inhaler. A few cars with their 2000. They're not old or nothing, unfortunately, so. No point in looking at those. Another camera. We have a lot of digital cameras. I really hope these... Well, hey, that works. That's very unusual to find one that cuts on right here. It's probably the one that uses like real batteries and not that crappy rechargeable ones. So, that. Ooh, look at this. Another watch at... Oh, yeah, whoa. That looks like the last necklace too. Ooh, that's a very valuable coin, but it's not it. 
It looks like it's the walking Golden Liberty. Walking Liberty. Yeah. What did you just say? This looks like the silver necklace we found earlier. Let's see. This is a little piece of. It's not marked silver. Let's see if this one is. It looks steel, to be honest, but maybe it's silver. No, this isn't silver. Dang it. It was a good hope, though. It was a good hope. Let's see what's in here. I like these kind of boxes. Okay. Somebody's like lighter collection. And other random junk collection. Ooh, and other hmm. stuff collection. Other hobbies. Paraphernalia collection. Let's see what's in this. Let me make sure it's YouTube appropriate first. Okay. It's just glasses and a guitar. All right, another one of these. He's like quartz clocks. Personal pictures we'll leave behind. What is this? Is that lighting? I thought so too, but it's not lighting if it is. Jerry Rice, football card, Flare 90. Um, well, a lot more pens down there. Just random little things. Things everywhere. Huh. These are business cards. But yeah, that's about it. That was pretty interesting too. But we also got this. This is a Sherwood audio video stereo receiver RV6 or 6010R. Then we have this Sony 5 CD disc exchange system. These are kind of like we said the VHS. Some of these are worthless, some of these are randomly worth a lot of money. It just depends on the model and people's childhood. They want to relive their childhood, even if it's crap. I understand. I buy crap games and do crap stuff for my childhood too. So let's hope they're valuable. All right, so we got some more junk out of here. This one looks like it's full of a bunch of more of the Mega Dead type decorations. I don't know if these are necessarily like cheaply made, well made, or what, because obviously we don't celebrate this, but you guys do. Let us know if you think these are worth something or not, or how much. We'll probably end up, depending how much we got, just grouping them in one big lot and probably auctioning them off as a big lot of day to day stuff. So, if you're into that stuff, make sure you look for the live auction. All right, so this box looked interesting because I saw what looked like a piano. And that is, a, that's a Barbie piano. Hmm. Huh. So, in the spot, solo in the spotlight from 1995, almost as old as me, one year away. Kind of a cool piano. The only other thing that we see in there is that TV. It's not really that new. It's probably be like a ten or twenty dollar TV, maybe. And now comes the hard part: trying to get this stuff in the van, which is going to be fun. Since we're in San Jose as a UFC fan, guys, you know I had to come by, even though nobody's here, and just see the American Kickboxing Academy, some of the best champions in UFC history. First time I ever got to see that gym in person. That's super, super cool. All right, guys, so I just finished editing the video. Before we do the recap, you guys know I like to do a lot of digging, look into the people and see what I can find. So he had a very weird name, very weird last name, I could say. So it was really easy to find him when I searched him. I like to see people's criminal past. So he had three charges from years back, but they, one of them was kind of violent, but that was years ago. It didn't affect the unit now. But as a theme for our channel, in January this year, we get another <laughs> possession and distribution charge, which means once again, for how many times is this now? Like 250? <laughs> The dude was technically a drug dealer. It's crazy how much it happens, but then again, I think we're like the only channel that's weird enough to go do criminal background research on people after we buy their units. But if you wanted to know, that's why they lost their unit because the arrest times add up perfectly to the lean process. So we got that figured out. Okay, after so, so, so many hours of cleaning, sorting, and all of that good stuff, we have some piles in the garage. So follow me over here. This is our live auction slash eBay stuff. So we have the sombrero. We have, we're assuming, we wanted to point these out to see if any of you guys could help us. These are folk dolls, is what Mama Jeeva said they might be. Because it looks like they are like hand stitched and they're like a hard, I don't know. Um, so we have that. Another cool thing we found was this $130 Spanish three foot jewelry box that's what it says on spanish on the bottom <laughs> um we have the whole tote of rocks and this was another one for the addition i found in the bottom of another box so that's cool we have two matching jewelry boxes here we have the cigar box we have other jewelry boxes as well um i set aside these clocks because we weren't sure what to do with those yet 
this is possible eBay, this is possible eBay. Um, and I'm not sure what the jewelry box is yet. And we found a car for the remote control. Now, the underside, it looks like a battery goes here and it's not there, but maybe it has resale value, maybe not. I don't know in the condition it's in. This whole box right here is literally Dia de Muertos collectibles. Everything in here is the Day of the Dead, Spanish holiday. This camera right here, the power shot, I tested, it works. Uh, charger and everything's in there. These are a couple pieces of Pyrex that I set aside, and this is some old stuff. Again, this is eBay slash live auction stuff. We still gotta go through and figure out what we wanna list on eBay and what we want to put in the live auction. What about this? This, oh, this, <laughs> yes, this is like gold. So this is like <laughs> paper that we put in most of the live auction boxes at eBay to protect everything. Oh, and I wanted to show you this, I found a whole roll. Sweet. All right. Always need more paper. Never have enough. Yeah, so we got a lot of paper. All of this stuff right here, I'm going to try to list on Facebook Marketplace or other local apps to see if I can get rid of all that very quick. What else we got? This is the little pile that we have yet to go through, and I'm pretty sure every box here was shown on video, so we weren't really worried about that. Two more piles. So all of these are VHS tapes that we have to look up, all three of these boxes. Plus one there, we actually have a lot of Little Rascal VHS tapes. I know, I feel like Little Rascals are pretty popular, so I figured that might have some value. Mm. Um, okay, so these are also like Facebook Marketplace probably because they're so heavy, it'd be easy to do that. I found a charger, but not yet the wire for the walkie talkie, some remotes that might go to that TV. This is what I wanted to ask you guys about. So magnifying glass and two little holders here, which I'm assuming you could put something on here and put it under the glass to figure it out, but I don't really know how to look this up. Fancy scientist just, stuff. I know, I don't, it was just in this teal bag right here, so I didn't know how to look it up. So kind of stumped on that. This right here, this is all in Greek. We might list this on eBay. I looked it up by the ISBN. This probably live auction, and we have a little pile of these, which I think you said are phone charms, right? Yeah. Yeah. Little pile of phone charms, and I wanted to look these two things up as well. Um, we haven't had enough time today yet, guys. Yeah. It's, uh, what did we start? We I left at 8 this morning. 8 this morning, and it is almost 10 o'clock right now. So we have been yeah. going. <laughs> Besides eating for maybe like 20, 30 minutes, we've been going the whole day. 14 hours. Woo! 14 hours straight. So that is literally all the piles we got. If anyone's thinking they're interested in stuff from the unit, don't send us messages. Come to the live auctions on Saturdays. That's where most of the stuff that we'll be selling will be going out. So if you're interested in any of it, make sure you come by Saturday. Set a reminder once we put it up, but just look for the live stream Saturday. But anyway, guys, that's it for this unit. It was an awesome one. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, double X, peace out.